Hi y'all, this is Regina from Regina's Crafting and More. Welcome back. All right, I have a Thanksgiving side seam design for your t-shirts and your sweatshirts. Uh, let me bring up this color chart real quick. I don't think I've ever shown you these on the videos. So this is the color changes. And yeah, that's a lot of color chart. But you're really not having to change your threads that much at all. So let me explain. Let me close this. All right, so here are all the color stops. Oh, <laughs> but you have to remember, you're going to have placement stitches and tack down stitches. These little square looking things are the design inside the feathers. So, and then this is your satin stitching. So this design is broken up into, on the feathers, it's broken up into three sections on the feathers. The yellow, the uh, orange, and the brown designs, uh, feather colors. Uh, once again, the pink is your placement. You lay down your fabric, blue tacks down your fabric. You can put in this color that is your satin stitch color, okay? And stitch these steps if you want. So, placement, put down your fabric, blue tacks it down. If there's anything between the tack down and the satin stitching, then you stitch that, and then this is the satin stitching. So that's the first color of uh, the first set of feathers. Then you have a another color which is the orange feathers and you, you can use any color fabric you want okay to jazz it up all right so you would have placement put down the fabric tack down trim around the fabric stitch this little design or not you do not have to stitch that it. it is once again it's these little pieces in here uh, then your this is your satin stitching around those items that you just Put your fabric down and trimmed and then you've got a placement stitch you put your fabric down tack down it tacks down your fabric you trim you stitch this if you want if you don't you don't have to and then there's the satin stitching this is his feathers it just stitches it's not applique it just embroidery fill okay and then once again for the body you've got a tack down you put down your fabric I mean, I'm sorry, a placement stitch, you put down your fabric, this tacks it down, you trim away the excess right up to the stitch line. You trim this, which is this design in here. I mean, you stitch this, and it's this design in here. If you don't want to stitch it, you don't have to. You can skip it. All right, and then it uh, does the satin stitching around his body. And then we've got the hat okay so this is the brim of the hat so that's your placement stitch you put down your fabric tacks it down you trim your fabric away it does a satin stitch trim very close to the line and then for the hat the same thing placement tack down trim and then it does the satin stitching around the hat and this right here is this little part of his hat and then this is the uh, belt or the buckle around the hat. You can stitch this in black if you want. And then here's the gold buckle right there. And that's really pretty much it. It's it's the process is very easy. It doesn't take a lot of time. Uh, you can measure, do your measuring. I do not have measurements on this. This was tested by someone else. I suggest you print out a template out of your software and then you can use that to measure each of the pieces of how much material. I'd say a good quarter to a half an inch more uh, width and length than what you need just to make sure that it gets um, tacked down good and then you trim that back so you're not wasting a whole lot of fabric. Um, Okay, I think that's it. Let me let me let it stitch at a medium rate so you can see. Let me get lined up. 
and zoom in a little bit so you can see. And yes, he does have talons. All right, so we're going to start stitching. Let me go slow. All right, so that's your vertical and your horizontal line. You put your side seam or your iron seam of your shirt here, line it up, and then this is for the bottom of your of your shirt. That means that stitch. Uh, can I back? Up? I'm blocked. I can't back up. So that red stitch is what you have to cut away before you do any more um, stitching. Okay, so it stitches this red line and you come in here and you trim all this away. Okay, then it does the legs. Okay, it does the legs. Let's speed it up just a little bit. Come on. Does the legs and does a satin stitching to cover up your raw edges. And then it's going to do the feet and you want to make sure you trim away because it there we go oh dear did i not do the feet in okay i didn't need it man i'm sorry I was thinking, oh goodness. All right, so it uh, tri <laughs> trims. Okay, I got to get started again. Okay, let me go through this. Oh goodness gracious. I can't reach my uh, my speed control. All right, so it does the, I can back up on this. All right, so after it does the feet on, and that's stitching on your t-shirt, okay. Uh, go. And then it's going to go up and do your placement lines, your tack down, you trim the fabric, and then it's going to stitch that, which you do not have to stitch if you don't want to. You see why there's so many color stops, so to speak. Okay, and then it does the satin stitching around those edges. And then it goes and it does the same thing for the other feather, so I'm going to speed it up. All right, so that's your placement your tack down it doing the little extra design in each of the feathers you can stitch that any color you want i've seen it done in purple i've seen it done in yellow I've a lot of different colors when i was looking for my clip art okay so it stitches that and then it goes and it does placement tack down trim you print you finish stitching that then it does the satin stitching all right and then it's going to speed it up. So it does his feathers. And then it's going to do his body. That's a placement stitch and a tack down for your fabric. And then it does that little fill. Okay. And then it's going to go up and do his hat, the brim of the hat. And then the... black part of the hat and then it does the band and the buckle and like I said you can do that band in black if you want and that's it all right if you have any questions you know uh, you can post it on the group or down below on the video and I'll try to answer those questions and uh, please join the group if you haven't please join my Facebook group uh, there will be a link down in the description of the video all right thanks for watching enjoy let me see what you're doing let the group see what you're doing thanks for watching bye bye